Hello, in this video we are going to see how we can install HTI. HTI is one of the best free open source web server or web hosting control panel. It is lightweight and works just perfectly. So let's see how we can install this on a Linux server or a VPS. So visit the official website of HTSCP. This is HTSCP.com and here you can find the installation instruction. So step one is to install a supporting operating system. So these are the supported operating system. This is Debian 10, 11, Ubuntu, 18, 20 and 22. So you can install any of these operating system on your VPS observer. I have Debian 11 installed on my VPS and uh, you can install operating system from your hosting control panel provided by your hosting provider. Check your hosting provider control panel to install uh, Debian or Ubuntu. So uh, after installing operating system, log into your server via SSH as a root user. So I'm going to log in using OT. So log in as root and enter your password. And uh, let's first check what operating system I have on my VPS. So we can check the operating system installed on the server using command cat slash etc slash os dash release. So you can see that I have Debian 11 installed here, Debian GNU Linux 11. So this is our supported operating system for HTSCB. So now next step is to update the operating system. So for Debian, we can use command apt update and and minus y update. And this is going to take few minutes. Okay, so uh, there was no update available on my VPS, so I don't need to do anything. But on your VPS, this may take few minutes to update. Okay, so after OS update, uh, you Let's copy this step. So we have completed step one, step two, and now copy this command step three and paste this in the terminal. Okay, so now we need to run the installer. So step four, copy this command and paste this. So this will install the installation of HTSAP on our VPS and this is going to take few minutes. So now this will ask, <coughs> this will show you the default uh, uh, combination that it is going to install. So press Y to confirm. Then this will start your email address. This will be the admin email address of HTSAP. So I'm, I'm going to use my Gmail email id and now this will again ask you to confirm the host name of the server so i'm simply going to select the host name and now this is started installing all the components of histia so this is going to take few minutes and I'm going to pause this video here and we should be back after a few minutes. So I'm back now and now you can see the installation has completed and saying press any key to continue. So before this will actually reboot the server. So before rebooting the server, let's scroll up a little and here you will see that the URL and username and password of the admin for HTSCP. So for now simply press any key to reboot the VPS and now our 
VPS is now reporting and we are not going to close this when just put it down below so we are going to wait for a few seconds to complete the booting and after that simply open this URL and make sure that DNS is configured properly otherwise this this will this is not going to work and instead of using the host name here use the server IP to access the admin panel of HTTP so I've already configured the DNS of this domain name pix.in pointing to host.pix.in pointing to the VPS IP so I can now access this uh, URL so just open this in new tab you will get a warning message because SSL is not installed so click on force and then you click reload and now here you will be asked into username so default username is admin click next and copy the password from the terminal so this is a password and you must change your password after first login this is just for security purpose okay so we are now logged in in our HTRCP so what is the first thing that we should do after completing the HTRCP so first thing is add a user so the default username is admin and I don't think and Hestia also don't recommend using admin user for for adding domains and managing your website so you should the first step is to add a user click here add user and then enter your username and password so we will continue the how we can configure Hestia's AP in coming videos thank you guys